Hi everyone, my name is Tabitha and I welcome you to this week's Tuesday Tips. What we want to do today is really focus on the customer experience map. We've talked about it before through the customer journey, the process that your contact takes from the moment that they become aware of your business to the moment that they purchase, and then watching them through those growth stages and as they become an advocate. So really applying that to the way that you use the CRM. You'll see here, we're talking about, um, or we're looking at rather, a pipeline that is focused on sales. So the entire sales process. But what we really want you to start thinking about is the different ways that you can utilize the CRM for your post sales process. What are the pipelines and the processes in your business that you're managing through the CRM? So let's take a look at a couple examples that I've created here. One we have is Boone's Customers. So my business is Boone's Bandanas. It is bandanas and dog accessories. So you'll see here that once somebody makes a purchase, they actually enter into a new pipeline. So the way that you really want to start thinking about this is how do you nurture your customers after they've made this purchase? You are now seeing them as a new customer. We want to continue to provide that value and thus we want to turn them into an advocate brand ambassadors, people that are really interested in the value of your business and return customers. So you'll see here, we have a new customer stage. We want to talk to them at one month, three month, six month, and hopefully in that time we can make them an advocate. So the processes that you're seeing here is really like, what are the things that we're communicating with them one month post touch point? What are we communicating with them on that third month? So maybe at the third month, we're saying, hey, here's our new product line. What other additional accessories are you interested in? So starting to think of it that way is a good way to really process the way that your customers are being spoke to after the purchase process. Now, another pipeline that you could create that really works for e-commerce businesses specifically is an internal shipping process. So this is just an example of another way that you could use the CRM for maybe not something that's directly customer facing, but something that's a little bit more specific to the internal processes of your business. So you'll see here, I probably have an automation set up in the background that every time somebody makes a purchase, they come into this pipeline under order placed. And as we start to process their order, they're slowly moving through these stages where I'm probably sending them emails, letting them know, hey, we're processing your order, or hey, we've shipped your order, wait 24 hours and you'll get a tracking number. And then I want to send them one final email that says like, hey, we're so happy to see that your product got delivered. You know, if you find the value in it, please leave us a review and maybe you want to leave a link to a review. But this is really going to give you an opportunity to start thinking about the way that your pipelines operate, not only from the back end internally, but how you can speak to customers in a different way post sales. The CRM isn't meant to just be sales focused. So once you start to open up those doors, um, when you're thinking about it that way, you'll really see that you can define those processes in your business and start utilizing it for a lot of different opportunity within your business. So this has been our tip for today. We hope you have a wonderful week. Please leave any comments on creative ways that you're using your pipeline and we hope to talk with you next week.